Hello friends! Welcome in the next video about creating first project inside System Workbench for STM32. Um, in the last video we have uh, finished with launching the debugger. Uh, so right now I will qu quickly describe um, how to work inside debugger. So firstly um, inside System Workbench and other based on Eclipse IDEs, um, when we switch into debugger, we, we have to switch another perspective of IDE. So we have C here, we have here C, C++ perspective and here debug perspective. Inside debug perspective, we have several other views. Uh, so I will describe it uh, quickly it right now. Here we have uh, deba uh, debugger sessions. Um, here we have a toolbar uh, where appears new buttons like uh, skip all breakpoints, resume to get in uh, to launch that the program will be uh, performed continuously to suspend, to pause the program, to terminate the debug session and uh, it's good, it's quite important because a uh, very often error uh, during launching the debugger is that the old sessions are not terminated so it's good to check, check it that here in debug view all other, se all other sessions are just terminated Good. Here we have also a step into and step over a functionality is well known from other debugging tools. Uh, here we have variables perspective. Here it's possible to view the value of um, all variables uh, of the function in which we are. Here it's a bit more detailed uh, view. Good. Here is a list of all breakpoints. With this button, we can deactivate, active them. Here we have all uh, general registers inside the target microcontroller. Here we have the input output register of every peripherals of our microcontroller. For example, and when we are in suspended mode, it's even possible to to change the value of them. For example, to to put on one of LED on my discovery board, it can be just change the bits here in this way. We are I'm activating the uh, GPIO port D. Here I'm setting a given uh, pin as an output and here it is possible to uh, put on LED. So right now on my board has, uh, I have get put it on red LED. Okay, here we have this assembly window where every line of C code it was translated into several uh, assembler instructions. Here we have a console view, also with potential problems, and here we have, of course, our um, source code. And so, to the um, in general, um, the working with debugger is based on um, performing um, every instructions line by line and assure that everything works properly. So let's check it. Let's switch it to variable. And you see that the value are changing here from, for example, I'm setting one uh, input output pin as an output. Let's check that the, here the value changes. Here we have right now the um, initialization uh, value and right now yeah, exactly we have a out output mode good right now we can go to 
continuous mode for example good Pro my program works and everything seems that everything goes correctly okay so uh, I think that's all uh, about creating first project in system workbench mm. I wish you all the best during working with System Workbench for STM32. Um, I'm quite curious about your um, opinions and suggestions about this course. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for watching and all the best. We are seeing you next time. See ya!